With contact scripting, instruments can have custom control panels called performance views. This allows you to control instrument settings without switching into edit mode and allows you to create a custom user interface. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to create a performance view that lets you control a low pass filter in an instrument bus slot. And never miss a tutorial by subscribing to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ADSR Toots. So yesterday we talked about how to create a three band EQ in performance view. And that used um, an EQ that was sitting in the first slot um, of a group. So in today's tutorial, we'll take things, uh, um, we'll make things a little bit more complicated by using a low pass filter that sits in an instrument bus slot. So first we'll start out by making a new instrument, enter in edit mode, and opening the script editor. Then we'll hit the edit button to edit the script. So you should know by now all script starts with on and in. Init. Initialize. And one of the things that um, I like to do is script title. But before you do that, you need to call make perfu. Set script title. And clear any messages. Now, um, make perf view is mandatory. You need that to make the performance view. Set script title and uh, message is optional. It's totally up to you. Um, but uh, one thing I suggest is when you start doing scripting, just try to be consistent. So if you decide you want to clear messages, always clear messages. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to declare our knob. So declare UI knob. And we'll call this um, cutoff because we want to control the cutoff of a low, low pass filter. And remember that knobs um, min max is 1 million. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And the um, display value is 1. Okay, you want to move the control. We're going to put this at the first row. So move control. And I think in a future tutorial, what I'll do is uh, I'll show you the differences between the grid and the pixel. Um, so you can arrange the controls in your performance view on a grid, or you can move it um, by pixel. So I'm just going to move it. I'm in grid mode, which is on by default. I'm going to move it to 1, 2. So if I hit apply, oops, make perfume and typo. All right, so here we go. Uh, we have our knob cut off. And since I haven't set the label yet, it just takes the name of the knob as the label. All right, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to set the label um, of the knob. Actually, I just paste that in. And I'm going to call it cut off. So there you go, label is set. I need to set the, um, the units of the knob by using the uh, set knob unit. Um, and if you guys followed along from yesterday, you'll start seeing that um, this is almost exactly the same um, as the um, the EQ. So you got you guys should be familiar with this. So we set it to hertz. There we go. Set the hertz. And before I go any further, I am going to come down to the instrument. And I am going to display the bus. So here we are, we're in the first bus. And I'm going to add a low pass filter. And it really doesn't matter which one you add. Um, 
but I'm just going to do the Legacy LP1 because um, we're only going to look at the cutoff knob. Okay, so that's there. So it has one one parameter cut off. All right. So um, the reason why I added this now is because I wanted to see what the default value is, and the default value is 644.5 hertz. So now this is once again this is totally optional, but I like to um I like to have default values um, available um, when I make performance views. So just type that there. So um, I want to set the the knob default value. So knob default value. Knob cut off. Um, I'm just gonna go from there. I don't know. I don't know what it is yet. Um, it's not half. If you look at at the knob, and you see the range. Um, it's not half, so that's not going to work. So this is just a starting point. So since it's at half, you know, let's take this down to, I don't know, four. So we'll leave that there for now. And it's not actually showing the, the, the uh, filter cut off yet because we haven't associated this knob with an actual engine parameter yet so we'll do that now so now we are going to associate the actual knob label with the the cutoff value so we set the label to knob cutoff get engine parameter display and engine parameter cutoff so this is the parameter for all filters no matter which bird which type you're using um, whether it's legacy pro 53 as long as it has a cutoff knob this parameter will control it all right and so now yesterday remember we talked about the differences between um, how to address the different slots and whether um, you're addressing an instrument all right so remember the first parameter of um, of uh, engine parameter or get engine parameter or any any engine parameter whether it's display or set engine parameter um, you have group slot and generic so the first one is group so like I said yesterday um, this is a zero base index of the groups so if if you're not using a group um, and in, in this case we're using an instrument bus so the instrument bus is outside of the group so everything above instrument is in the group and everything below instrument buses um, are part of the instrument level so instrument insert effects send effects are all part of the instrument level so since you know that you know that um, this is a negative one all right so the next one is the slot um, this is a, a zero, another zero base index, um, and it's actually the the in insert effect slot that you're using. Um, so it's zero base, so the first one is zero. All right. So easy way to remember this is group, no group, instrument slot, instrument slot zero. All right. The next one is uh, a new something new that we're gonna do. Um, so this is called this this parameter is called generic and if you were using an instrument um, effect you will just put zero so if we had an instrument slot here if we were using something here uh, we would uh, just put one there and that will allow us to, to hit that one if we were using um, a send effect you know we would have something here and we will put one, I mean, I'm sorry, we will put zero. And this would allow us to associate um, with this effect. But to access the buses, um, you have to use another parameter called bus offset. And the way you use that is you, it's a function, so you type in NI um, 
bus offset. Um, and I'm sorry, ni bus offset isn't actually a function; it's a it's a parameter. Type in ni bus offset, and you add it um, with the actual zero base index of the bus. So if you want to say the first bus, which is um, bus one, the actual index of it is zero. All right. So this is how you specify which bus you want to use. So if we want to access bus um, eight, for instance, we would type in uh, seven. So you, you just have to remember that is zero base. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's how you would access slot eight. So I'm just going to change this back to zero and close it. No errors. So now we are getting the value from um, the first bus. So if I change this, let's change it to 3.1. There you go, 3.1. All right. So one last thing that I like to do um, is make my nows persistent. So I'm going to put the make persistent um, command here. And now I've cut off. Well, and like I said yesterday, this allows you to save. Um, whenever you save your instrument or save your project um, in your DAW, um, whatever the last uh, value was will be saved. All right. So there's one last thing that we need to do. We need to make sure that when we move the knob, it actually updates the engine. And to do that, you use on UI control. And this is called every time you adjust the knob. So what we want to do is when you adjust the knob is we want to set the engine parameter to the value of the knob. So we call set engine parameter. We pass in the parameter of the, uh, that we want to we want to adjust, which is cut off. Pass in the name of the knob, and then we the address of the um, actual um, module you want to affect. So negative one for no for no group, zero for the first slot, and ni bus offset plus zero. So that oops, sorry, you have to end on. Always remember to end your calls, and then finally we want to update the knob label when we make the change. So the first line, what it does is when you turn the knob, it actually adjusts. Um, it tells the engine to change the cutoff for this slot in instrument bus one. So we're telling it that, but we also need to say update this label as well with, with whatever the value is of the cutoff. So that this is what this line does. So we're updating the label. So we just need the button button name, and then we use get engine parameter display, which is a text um, a string value of the parameter. We pass in the engine parameter we want to get and the address of it. So no group slot zero and ni bus bus offset plus zero and we close it all right so let's check to make sure this is working uh -huh. looks like I did something wrong All right, there you go. I didn't, I didn't, looks like I didn't press apply. All right, 43.6, 21.8, There you go. And I got close to the um, default value. Um, 
I'm sure I can do some math to actually figure out what the default value is supposed to be, but um, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just gonna, um, I guess that can be some homework for you guys to do. But um, it's close enough for me, um, and if I really wanted to get it, um, I could find the proper um, a value here. All right, so let's close the script editor, exit edit mode, and so now we have an instrument that we can control the cutoff. So there you have it. So although we use a simple low pass filter that, that only had a filter control, um, we can still access the controls of other complex filters such as the three by two versatile. And for any engine parameters other than the three by two versatile and you know other filters, be sure to check out the KSP reference. And don't forget to check out our website at www.contacttutorials.com for more contact tutorials and sounds. ADSR contact tutorials, supercharger contact skills. This is DJ Nice signing off until next time. Now go make some music.